Section 55 of My Bible History Old Testament by Bishop Morrow. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. The Babylonian Captivity, about 585 B.C. The prophets tried to turn the people of Judah from their evil ways by telling them that if they disobeyed God, they would be defeated by their enemies. But the Jews paid no attention to the words of their holy men. One of their enemies was Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. This king sent an army to conquer Jerusalem. The soldiers burnt the temple and broke down the city walls. They took many of the Jews to Babylon as captives. They also took away the precious vessels and ornaments of the temple of God. Among the Jews who were taken captive were Daniel and his three friends. Because of their wisdom, these four men came to be honored by Nebuchadnezzar. One night the king had a dream which the wise men of Babylon could not interpret. In anger the king ordered all the wise men put to death. When soldiers came to kill Daniel and his friends, Daniel asked the king to give him time to explain the dream. Daniel prayed for help. God revealed to him the meaning, so that Daniel could interpret Nebuchadnezzar's dream. He said, There is the God in heaven, who reveals mysteries, who shows what is to come to pass. The king was very much surprised. He said, Truly your God is the true God. He made Daniel governor of Babylon. Sometime after, Nebuchadnezzar made a golden statue, which he ordered everyone in Babylon to worship. When Daniel and his friends refused, the king was so angry that he ordered Daniel's three friends cast into a very hot furnace. The furnace was so hot that the men who cast the three friends in were burnt to death. But the three were not hurt in any way. An angel came down to them. A soft, cool breeze filled the interior of the furnace. The friends walked about in the midst of the flames, singing praises to God. From this, Nebuchadnezzar knew that God was protecting the young men. He called them out of the furnace and said, Blessed be their God. There is no other God that can save in this manner. End of section 55